Hello, and welcome to the Zywee Nano Patch, the world's smallest wearable heart monitor. This video will explain how best to use and wear the Nano Patch in order to get the best results. Please note, the Zywee Nano Patch is a diagnostic device and is not intended for emergency use. If at any time during your study you think you're having a medical emergency, call 911. To begin wearing your Zywee Nano Patch, turn on the sensor by plugging in the case to a wall outlet. The sensor is turned on when the case lights up white or green. The sensor will remain turned on for the entirety of the study once turned on at the beginning. Please do not bend, curve, or twist the sensor. It should be kept flat. The sensor is worn on the chest. If hair is present, please shave and dry. Next, grab an adhesive from the pouch and remove the sensor from the charging case. Peel off the green tab labeled number one and place the sensor on the adhesive. Please be sure to leave the red tab exposed for easy removal later. Tip, it is easiest to turn the sensor upside down on a flat surface and look through the adhesive to line up the three circles. Remove the tab on the adhesive labeled number two and hold the device flat, left to right. Place the sensor on your left pec, close to the sternum or breastbone. Tilt down the left side of the adhesive so the three hearts point to your right foot and adhere the sensor to the skin like you would a Band-Aid. It is very important that the three arrows slash hearts are pointing down to the right foot and not the other way towards the left shoulder. If the arrows are pointing up towards the left shoulder, the device is upside down and should be turned around. Turn on the phone by holding down the power button for three seconds. It's typically located on the right side of the phone. Once booted up, select the green Zywee Nano app located in the top left-hand corner of the screen and follow the prompts. Please give it two minutes to fully boot up before attempting to start the study. The phone should be plugged in to charge every night while you sleep. Do not turn the phone off during your study. Once charged, the sensor remains charged for three to five days. Only charge the sensor when the phone tells you. To charge the sensor, remove the adhesive from your chest. If you have trouble, try removing the adhesive in a shower. Once the adhesive is off of your chest, peel it away from the sensor. Tip, there is a small red tab that can be used to pull away the adhesive from the sensor. Throw the red tab adhesive in the trash once done. Once removed, please clean back of sensor with the alcohol wipes provided. Once clean, place the sensor inside the white charging case. The copper pins should be aligned with the two small circles on the back of the sensor. Close the case with the sensor inside and plug it into the wall. The white light will glow on the case, which means the sensor is charging. The sensor charges in one to three hours and the phone will show you the sensor's charge status. Wait for the white light to turn green or for the phone to say that the sensor has reached greater than 90% charge. Remove the sensor from the case and re-adhere it to your chest using a new adhesive from your kit. The sensor can only record data when it is properly adhered to your body and charged. The phone will alert whenever it detects that the patch does not have a full contact with the skin or is low on battery. You can shower while wearing the sensor, but only showers, not baths or swimming. Avoid prolonged hot showers and avoid soap or rubbing around the sensor. Once done showering, dry the sensor and adhesive by dabbing with towel. Both the sensor and the phone need to be charged and remain within 20 feet of each other to ensure data upload is not delayed or lost. If you feel a symptom during your study, use the app's Feeling Something button to record it. You can only send one symptomatic recording per minute. When your study is complete, 
place all contents inside of the kit and ship it back to Zywee using the prepaid label inside of your kit. Please be sure to include and send back the phone, sensor, sensor case, etc. Please only ship your kit back via the shipping service that is listed on your label and get a drop-off receipt every time. Thank you for watching this video on using your Zywee Nano.